Water is really important to us in our work here at the Methow Conservancy because it's an important part of the landscape and the community as a whole. Without a source of reliable water, we wouldn't have a history of agriculture here in our community. If we didn't have free-flowing rivers, uh, we wouldn't have recreational fishing, we wouldn't have rafting, we wouldn't have many of the activities that bring people here to the Methow. The mission of the Methow Conservancy is to inspire people to care for the land so that future generations can enjoy the open spaces and the wildlife and the agricultural heritage that we enjoy today. My grandfather came in 1892 to the United States from Norway. Our roots are deep. None of us would probably ever consider living anywhere else or doing anything else other than what we're doing by uh, utilizing and being good stewards of the land. We started working with Jason and John at the Meadow Conservancy. So we'll have five family properties from the mouth of the Meadow all the way up to the 14 mile marker that that we've uh, put into conservation easements. They are helping preserve and expand agriculture here in the valley by forming the conservation easements with the landowners. In our work with private landowners, we work to make sure that water is in place and available to help grow crops and grow food for the community into the future. What has always sort of centered me in the work that I do is that we are working so closely with farmers with really sort of mutual goals. We do a lot of projects related to, to working with irrigators, working with water users to enhance flows and do habitat projects along our important rivers and streams. The irrigators really tend to understand what it means to have water, whether it's for their crops, for their animals, my family's owned this since 1905 and it's always been farmed and I just wanted to keep it that way. It fits in really well because it's a win-win. I mean, for Charlie, he didn't have to spend all day dealing with flood irrigation. Uh, the pivots made his life easier. It saved water for the river. We could still do everything we did with less water. That, that feels good. We work really well with Trout Unlimited. We have similar missions. The relationship of trust between Trout Unlimited and the Conservancy and between both of us and the farmers is, is really key. We couldn't do what we do without that level of trust. When I think about the Methow community and, and who's here, it's populated by a number of people who are here intentionally. I started working at the Methow Conservancy as an intern in 1999 and I volunteered that summer working on the Good Neighbor Handbook. So the Good Neighbor Handbook was a 33-page handbook that we sent to all new landowners in the Matau Valley and it described the natural history of the valley. And then just some practical tips for living in the Matau, written in a way that's very inviting and not judgmental and hoping to really build a community around conservation as soon as people arrive in the Matau Valley. That same first year I was there, we got a grant to do a songbird survey. The songbird survey that I did was instrumental in building that trust in face-to-face, -face, walking people's properties, giving them lists of what birds they have on their property. The Metal Conservancy brings out a love of this valley, and I think that as people become conservation easement owners, they become members of the Metal Conservancy, they go on a bird walk, there's a sense of belonging. and so that you're not just one person loving the valley, but you're loving it in a community of other people who also share that passion and that desire to learn more, that desire to make it better. The work that the Meadow Conservancy does is really built on a, a history of people willing to step forward to uh, implement a vision of, of preservation in the valley. One of them is John Hayes, a, really an amazingly visionary individual. The community trail was an outgrowth of this open space work. And it was uh, our job to convince these people this was a good idea to let the public in their backyard. The Metau Community Trail today is some 22 to 26 miles. The credibility that the Conservancy has today is remarkable. And people are proud of it. So we've got great trails, we've got fish, a clean floor. The connection between water here in the Methow Valley and water in the Salish Sea is summed up when you can stand on the pedestrian bridge here in Winthrop and, and see a young child look into the river and see a salmon 
that salmon started in the Pacific Ocean and swam past a number of dams over 600 miles to spawn in a tributary here in the Methow watershed. You know, the biggest concern facing the valley is water. And to me, I see that in five different areas. Of course, you have the irrigation for the large farmers. You have the, the recovery for fish. You have the private use, good clean drinking water, as well as small irrigation. You have development um, for the cities. And then, of course, the recreation and the, the use of the fun water in the hot summers. There you go, that's a nice one. Oh! You know, the community really benefits from all of this work. As a community member, you're gonna be touched by at least three of those big five areas of water. And so you want those to be working forever. What we're doing here currently in the, in the Methow Valley can be accomplished in any community. It takes time, it takes building relationships, it takes building trust. In my own little small way, you know, we're leaving a bit of a legacy for a valley that I think will remain the same and, and will keep looking like it does today and that's pretty exciting. Really the reason I do what I do is I love this place and I don't know that there's really any other way to say it. You know, the fact that we can bring our diversity to a, a common goal and achieve it is a big deal.